Hey, hey, hey! Welcome to Sports Unfolded NBA Rankings. I am your host, Eric. Big dog in the house. Kenny, how are you tonight? I'm doing great, Eric. Doing great. A lot to talk about. NBA, man. I was all excited about tonight. I'm going to tell you that right now. I was looking forward to watching some Celtics Lakers and then finding out that uh, LeBron and AD aren't even playing. So, yeah. So we, this is what we do in the NBA. So how do you feel about that? So go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Finish. I was going to say that Tyrese Halliburton, he kind of came out, said he thinks it's bogus that the NBA did the 65 game thing. Cause obviously, you know, with an injury, you still, you know, you might not be eligible for MVP or all NBA. Let me tell you something, Eric. Okay. They should be playing at least 65 games. When people buy their ticket and say, oh, it's going to be a good matchup. It's going to be Embiid against Joker. And Embiid sitting on a bench in street clothes. Mm -hmm. I would be pissed too because I tried to watch that game. No Embiid. I don't want to watch it anymore. Ask me the last time he played Denver. Go ahead, yeah, ask they me. said it's ask been me. like at least five times. It's been, it's been at least five years. Two, two thousand, 2019. Yeah, it's crazy. 2019. Like, I don't get it. And then he's not playing tonight. Yeah, he's injured now. He so might be in trouble. So, so I, I was going to give this stat later, but he's missed 11 games. Seven more, he doesn't win MVP. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's not even eligible for all NBA, right? It, he falls out of that, no. too. So Exactly. exactly. So I, what, I, what's... What is yeah? I I like it. I I like the fact that uh, look, it holds the players accountable. I feel bad, like Me hey, too. you get hurt. Me it's too. part of the, but it's part of the game. And why okay. should a guy that only plays half the season if he gets hurt win an MVP or an All NBA? <laughs> I mean, if this guy's you. playing sixty to seventy games, they deserve it over you if you've only played forty. So I, I like what I, I'm seeing. I, I think David Stern did a great job, uh, you know, implementing that. But Me too. All right, my Me friend. Too. The real reason why we're here, Me though, too. is we're going to talk Me some too. rankings. We put these rankings out on uh, Monday. We'll put those up for you. And you uh, made a little change here. You got OKC at five, Philadelphia at seventy uh, at four, the 76ers, Denver Nuggets at three, the Boston Celtics now back at two. And the Los Angeles Clippers making the top spot in uh, this week's NBA ranking. So, Kenny, yeah. a lot to talk about when it comes to this. But um, I guess yeah. the, the biggest thing that I would say, a couple of people upset. I heard a few things coming out. A, Minnesota, number one in the West, 34 and 14, not on this list. The Bucks, yeah, who you yeah, kind of, yeah. I don't know if you and the Bucks have a thing. But 32 and 16, not on this list. The Knicks, 31 and 17, 9 and 1 in their last 10. They're Ooh. hot, bro. I, and the Cavs, I, 29 so and 16, 9 and 1. Not on this list. But yet you got sixes on here. And that's mm. the spot I think the Knicks could have been at. They could have. They could have. got to the do, my I, friend. I, I I tried, I I tried, I tried, and I tried, and I just couldn't do it yet. I'm so proud of the Knicks. They are playing hard. I, I tell Dude, you that what, trade. that 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 trade was great. Whoever whoever qualified that trade, whoever stamped that trade, they're genius. And okay? I told you, they're I like genius. It. I like that trade. I said it from the beginning. I, I, I don't think I it's it doesn't put them ahead of the Celtics, but it no. makes them better. Yeah. It puts them at a right place, right where they need to be. So let's talk about each team. I mean, it, it is kind of interesting uh, when we talk about it, but you got the OKC Thunder 35 and 15 at number five. What do you like about them? Yeah. Oh, Jalen Williams and SGA are doing magnificent. They are good on defense. They can run. They're still in there. They are still in there. Yeah, listen, I, I mean, MVP candidate. No? Yeah. Yeah. Most definitely. He changed his team around. I mean, he does – he's shooting 43%. Mm -hmm. 
but he can get to the basket anytime he then wants. They, some stat I just saw, it's, I think it's like eight or nine straight games with 30 points plus. Yeah. Like the kid is legitimately scoring for them. Uh, I really like the fact that, again, they haven't shown a, a decline all season. They've kind of stayed yeah. steady, you know, and yep. to be, you know, 18 games over 500, uh, again, that shows a lot for the talent that's on this team. And in the drafting, you could talk young team, but you know what? They drafted well. They got the right guys to make a difference. Um, I think they were forced in the West, Kenny. I really do. Yeah. Yeah. They could scare some people. They could oh. scare some people. So at four, you had the Philadelphia 76ers. Kenny, you got to explain this one to me because I don't know. I, I just not have not seen enough out of the Sixers. You're saying you didn't see enough out of the Knicks. I've seen enough out of the Bucks. To think they're better than the Sixers. I've seen enough. I'm just telling you. Did you did you did you say the Bucks are better than the Sixers? Yes. Three games ahead of them. 32, 32 wins, one less loss. Mm -hmm. Like the Bucks. Okay. I'm just saying, hey, it's your list. You tell me why I should like Philadelphia at four over Milwaukee. First of all, Joel Hans and Bede. Okay. All right. I understand that he's not been playing. Okay. All right. But when you shoot, <laughs> you score 70 points in 37 minutes. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right. When you score 70 points in 37 minutes, you the man. Okay, you are the man. Okay, all right. Averaging thirty-seven point nine. What was that noise? Ron asking. Still no Minnesota. Still no Minnesota. I'm sorry. When you score sixty-eight, cat, and you lose, I'm sorry. That's that's. I don't know if that's coaching coaching issues or you was trying to get seventy-four or something like that, but. Go with it. Go with another foot, so, cat. Go with so let floor. me ask you this: Joel Embiid, obviously best player. Yeah, I'm not denying that. What I'm saying I'm, to I'm you is overall better team, that. better team, the Milwaukee Bucks. Oh, no, no. Giannis, no. Dame, no, no. Middleton, no. If you if you see him play, uh, I know numbers never lie, but if you see them play, I've, I, I don't know. Now, and now that Doc is in charge, they're in trouble. So you're being by. You're holding it against some Doc. You got a thing since he left Boston. I know how it is, Kenny. Oh, oh, oh. You're the oh. one who said Doc Doc is not a defensive coach. And you're right. Because I I've, watched that. Him, I've, I've watched that game when he came back. Uh-uh. There was no defense. They just lost, what? They lost last night to the Trailblazers and Dame's return? Yep. Exactly. So they exactly. lost a bad game. All right. I'll give you that one. All right. We'll see. So but. He, so he. So he's zero and two as a as a as, as a, a Bucks coach. coach, and we talked it yeah. about that last yeah. last week. This could exactly. cost them more than they think. But let me ask you this question: Knicks continue to stay hot. They make this list yes. next week. Yes, yes, they do. They okay. do. They we do. may if see they, Philly fall they, out. No MB. No MB yeah. could yeah. be a problem for the Knicks yeah. or for the Sixers. Yeah. Yeah. All right, number three, my friend, best player in the NBA. Jokic, kind of sl slow and steady. To me, though, 33-16, let me ask you this, Kenny. Are they as good as yeah. the championship team as last year? Because I don't no. feel like they're as dominant or as determined as they were a season ago. No, they're not. I don't I don't think they're going to repeat. They're playing, they're playing well. Uh, it's kind of a slowish. It's slower than last year. Okay, their movement are slower than last year because of their bench. Um, key guys are going. Uh, Brown, three more other guys I can't think of right now, but they're going. So their system is much slower than last year. It was kind of a quick pace where they run and gun, run and gun. Joker get down, Joker get down. But Joker's posting more up. So it's not going to be as quick and fast as they were last year. They're not going to repeat. Are there a team you think are, are going to make a trade by the deadline? They have to. They have if to. They, if they want to repeat, going to have to bring a player in, try to get somebody. That comes off the bench and scores. And you think, we're talking about a 33-16 and 16 team, best player in the league, but 
Yeah, I think he, I, yeah. I think he needs some help. I mean, I like Jamal Murray. I like what he's done, but I don't feel this the guys supporter junior, Aaron Gordon are doing the same yeah. work they did last season, as well. Yeah, like, exactly. And that's where I think some of that hurts yeah. them a little bit. Yeah, Kenny, number two, got the Boston Celtics, thirty-seven and eleven. Uh, again, you had him take a step back. I don't know if I'd put him behind the Clippers, but. Explain it to me why you had them drop one spot in the rankings. Uh, Clippers beat them last week. They had to struggle. I had to drop them. I had to drop them. I did. I have to drop them, you know, too. But they'll be they'll be back. They'll get on it back in the road. But they had a – oh, the Clippers whooped their behind. And it's just like I didn't see that coming. I did not see that coming. I thought they would yeah, defend yeah. home. If you tuned in to Sports Unfolded Friday night, I believe I picked the Clippers. <laughs> I saw it. I saw it coming, yeah. Kenny. You sure? You sure did. I didn't. See it. I didn't see I, it coming. He, here's here's what scares me about the Boston Celtics. Porzingis is such a big piece of what they're going to do if they're going to get to the championship. And we're starting to see the health issues that w- scared us a little bit when we. Yeah, dr- yeah. When we made this trade, yeah, yeah, yeah. that he's missing games now that ultimately could affect him later on in the season. They cannot win a series without Porzingis. I, I, I don't think they can True. because I feel like they need that big guy, the unicorn. He can do different things. He takes the big man out of the paint, which opens it up for Brown and Tatum. We, we've got to keep an eye on Porzingis and how much – these injuries start to creep up. Yeah. So yeah, we got we got we to watch. We got to we got to get them back healthy. And we got to protect them. We got to we got to protect them. We can't. We got to limit his minutes. Between Al Horford, you know, like I said before, he really doesn't have to play much, but he has to play when we need him. He has to play in those big games. And if you watch him, he is a great player. Great. Oh, I love that. Like you said, like you said, he can do everything. He can shoot the three. He can take the big man out. He can rebound. He can pass. Defensive blocks. The blocks. Yeah. He, he's yeah. a force in the paint. When it, yeah. I mean, but but again, I, we talked about this when this trade happened, and everything was rolling along for the Boston Celtics. So you're like, all right, no problems. And now you're starting to see oh, Porzingis ankle. Porzingis. Yeah. You know, yep. me, Porzingis, you know, hip. And I'm like, it scares me. We'll see. Listen. Yeah. And it's you're the right. injuries that are at the worst. It's the nagging yeah. injuries that's the worst. Yeah. Yeah. They can be. So tell me about this number one team, Kenny. Why are they number one? They are what is going on here? Everything, everything, everything kind of gelled. It was like they started off what they lose eight straight when Harden got eight. there, or nine straight. Yeah. And you're starting to say, eight. wow. And all of a sudden, they figured it out. Kawhi stayed healthy. You, you see that. Listen, the only thing I've heard is these rumblings, though, about Westbrook getting traded. And I don't know if that eventually affects the team if he doesn't or if he stays. I tell you right now, if he st- if he leaves, they're going to get better. If they could, if they could get a point guard that truly, truly passes and can run the kind of run the floor. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not disrespecting Westbrook. He is a Sounds great like point he guard. He's, he's a good addition, but if they can get a point guard, if they can get a What's point a slack, guard, man. Whew, if they can get a real good point guard. So uh, it's going to be an interesting team. Listen, in the West though, again, you you got Denver. We just talked about OKC as well, right? You still got the T-Wolves. It very tough the West. To me to judge oh. And as much as we don't want to discount LeBron And all those guys Like you know that come playoff time These guys are going to play yeah. They proved it in the They proved it in the in-season tournament That if they really want to turn it on They will Yeah yeah, yeah. The, so, Clips are 14, the Clips are 14 and 2 since Christmas Yeah I mean look they're playing yeah. great They are I'm not I'm not yeah. discrediting what they're doing I'm just saying I think yeah. they've got a harder ride than Boston in the East. Oh, yeah. Most definitely. Right? Most so definitely. it's going to be interesting to see. But let's bring that list back up, Kenny. And uh, just go over it one more time. OKC at 
five. Philadelphia 76 is at four. The Denver Nuggets at three. Boston Celtics at two. Los Angeles Kipplers came in at the number one team. And Luka Dantic, player of the week last week Ooh. for you. Right? Man tore it up. Another 70. We've seen a lot of 70 spots Ooh, in the 73. NBA. 73. <laughs> then he goes out and scores 45. Right? Luka is the man. This- Luca is Luca's a beast. Luca's a I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's that super, it's that supermodel. That's what it is. It's a super, oh, like, supermodel. It's a supermodel. Like, <laughs> James seems to think the Lakers can go the distance. <laughs> hey, James is challenging you on the Lakers, my friend. He, I don't know if the Lakers can make the list, though. I, I think that might be a yeah. That'd, that'd be that a might long be shot. a difficult one. <laughs> that'd be a long shot. That'd be a long shot. All right, we're going to have some fun, my friend, if you're ready. All right. We're going to do some ready. do you do you know, my friend. Okay. So uh, we always try to have some fun with do you know. If you're out there joining us live and you want to give us a guess as well, you can do that. But I will say it's all revolving around the Los Angeles Clippers. You wanted to make them the number one team, Kenny? Whoa. Okay. I want to see right. how, long, how much you know right. about those right. Los Angeles Clippers, okay? Okay. All right. So yep. We'll, we'll have right. to see. Uh-oh. Oh, here we got a little beef going on here. Ooh, no way, okay. no okay. way, James. That's what that no Ron way, don't believe okay. in the Lakers, and James comes back. They aren't there right now, but they can turn it on when it matters. They won the NCAA tournament. <laughs> ah, He's yeah. got a point there, man. Yeah. He's got a point NCAA, there. He's got a point there. Champs. All right, champs. all right. Here we go with do you know, Kenny? All right, all right. Question number one: mm-hmm. Doc Rivers is the yeah. all-time winningest coach in Los Angeles Clippers history. Yeah. Who is the all-time leader in losses for the Los Angeles Clippers as a coach? Ooh, losses as a coach, huh? Most losses in Clippers history as a coach. Mm. I'm trying to think. Who coached them? Who coached them? If you're out there live, you want to give us a guess. Most losses Ooh. as a coach by a Los Angeles Clipper. Clipper. See, I'm trying most to wins, coach. Doc Rivers. Who Doc Rivers, him? most wins. Rivers. Who coached him before Doc? I should, I should know this. I should know this. Oh. No, it's not That's Doc. Not you just... Nope, he called Doc, but it's not Doc's the most winning as coach. Winning as coach history. He is not the most lo- he does not have the most losses in Clipper I can't I can't even I can't even think of a oh a another one that thinks Doc Rivers. All right, my friends. Doc oh. Rivers is not no. not the one I can't even think I can't even right. think of a Clippers coach. That's All a right. shame. Here we go. There's he... one Mr. Mike. Oh, Mike Dunleavy. Dunleavy. Oh, Mike not, Dunleavy. Not Mike. Oh, not Mike Dunleavy. Oh, 320, not Mike. 326 losses as a Los Zeebo. Angeles Clipper. Right? Look Isn't that funny? I didn't even remember Zach Randall play, Randolph playing for them. When did that happen? Right? Look at Zebo. He was good, yo. I must have fell asleep good, during yo. that. He wasn't. I, <laughs> I remember him with uh, Memphis. He was a, yep. a beast. I don't remember yeah. with the Clippers. Yeah, he was a Clippers. I do not remember with the Clippers. But Mike Dunleavy, the most wow. losses in Los Angeles Clippers history, wow. 326. Wow. 326. All right. All right, Pete, Coach Dunleavy. Wow. I couldn't even think of that. I couldn't even think of him as a coach. All right. You 0 1, my friend. 0 1. 0 1. All right, 0-1-1. All right. All right I Kenny. Next, I, got the, I got these next two. Which Los Angeles Clippers player mm-hmm. has the highest points per game average in his career? So the team, the team's all-time leading scorer points per game. Chris Paul, the key now, points Chris per Paul. game. Chris, Chris Paul. Paul's your guess. Chris Anybody Paul. out there live want to take a guess? We got Chris Paul on the table. Could it be Chris Paul? It may be. It may be. I'm going uh, Chris no guesses <laughs> out there. No guess. They're, they're a little scared out there to, to give me a, uh, you know, they had some great players here in, in Clipper land. All right. Mm-hmm. Kenny. Unfortunately, 
You're not is it Greg Odin? Odin? Greg Odin? Come on, yeah, Greg, Greg Odin. No yeah, way. He's a Greg Odin. Oh my <laughs> goodness. It is not Odin. It is not, not Odin. Odin. Definitely not Odin. I, I don't think it's Chris Paul either. I think it's it's okay. it's not Chris Paul. No, I think it's Chris Paul. All right. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right. I know it. I know it. You, I, watch it. I don't think you will, my friend. Yeah. Because I'm gonna tell you right now. It's world be free. World, yeah, world be free. World be free. World be free. Seventy-eight through eighty. Yep. Played yep. for the San Diego Clippers at the time. Yep. Twenty-nine point four points per game is yep. the all-time score points per game yep. Yep. in Clippers history. History, yeah, yeah. Oh, he put Odom. He wanted Odom. It wasn't Odom. Oh, it was Odom. world. World be free. Be free. Seventy-eight through eighty. San Diego. Clippers, yep. 29.4 points per game is yep. the highest points per game in Clippers history yep. for yeah. a play. After I, said, after I said Chris Paul and I said, oh, San Diego. I forgot ah, about San Diego. You forgot about San Diego, my friend. Never forget. I forgot about, I forgot about Never San forget. Diego. San Diego Clippers. You're right. All right. Last one. You're 0-2, Kenny. Jeez, Can I matter. stump you for the third time? You'll be 0-6. <laughs> You realize know, right? two weeks straight. I, I know, right? All right. Why well, I got this one? You're gonna get this one. It's guarantee. Yeah, yeah, guarantee. All right. Oh, look at that. They, the crowd's egging you on. They <laughs> want it. They want you. They're going. Listen. They want Kenny to get this one. Come on, Kenny. That's what they're All saying right. out there. All it's right. your time to shine. Right. Do you know, Kenny? Yeah. Who scored the most points? In a playoff game for the Clippers in the history of the Ooh. team, most points in a playoff game oh, in man. history for the Los Angeles Clippers. I know this. Oh, look at that. Don't get skunked. Don't get oh, skunked, Kenny. God. They're challenging you. God, yeah. Nope. I'm trying to nope. Think. Ron, nope. Uh oh. Oh man. Most points scored in the history of the Clippers playoff. in a playoff in game. Playoff game. In a playoff in a game. Playoff game. Playoff game. Oh, playoff game. Playoff game. Playoff game. Kenny, I'm not feeling good about this one, my friend. Oh, and six. Free. Oh, and six is on the table. The Clipper playoff game. Most points in a, in a playoff Clipper game? In a playoff kiff, Clipper game. Oh, James, no idea. James said, nope, forget it. Not even going to take a guess. All right. Let me know when you're ready, Kenny. I'll give you the give you the oh, I'll give you the oh for. I'm ready. Gonna, All right. Be Chris Ball. Chris Paul, Chris Paul played for at least. So you, you want to go with Chris Paul, Paul? I mean, it could be the answer. I do, I do, I do because you want to go. Played, so you, all right, played, you got Chris years. Paul on the table. Ron, for 12. some reason, loves Odom. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Uh, oh Odom! Oh, no, that's not it. No, he had it and no. lost it. Oh, okay, this is on the table. All right, let's see if who's right here. You got Chris Paul. We got Odom. We got a. I don't have any idea. And I'm going to tell you right now, Kenny, this was a bad one for you, man. I stumped you again because it is one, Mr. Bob McAdoo. Bob McAdoo, Kenny, scored 50 points in a. For the guess, you ready for this? 1975 Buffalo Braves, who eventually became the Los Angeles Clippers at some point. <laughs> Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The crowd is against you. Bob McAdoo. Most points ever in NBA Clippers history in a playoff game. In a playoff game, Kenny. And as you can see, Kenny has left the scene. He is done. His basketball insight has been stumped once again, two weeks in a row. Kenny, 
I got to tell you, my friend, these were tough, though. These were we, tough. You got to realize. We talk, about, the, we, we talk about Bob McAdoo, yo. Bob McAdoo. We ain't talk, Listen, they, they aren't very good, the Clippers. For a long time, they haven't even been in the same city. And what are they moving to? Englewood next year or a couple of years yes. from now? Before, right? So before, it's like before. they created a new one. Wow. Bob McAdoo. We're going back. 75. Think about it. World Beep Free played for the San Diego Clippers in 78, which means only three years later, three years earlier, Bob McAdoo in Buffalo. They were in Buffalo you three years earlier. You know who, you know, you know who owns the forum? Who owns the forum? You know who owns the forum? Not anymore. The, really? The worst. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. But I think they're building a new arena for them. So he's re- Clippers again, a brand new arena. He- so they 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 oh, they're the not forum? even go- they're going somewhere. I think it's the forum now. They, no, they're getting their own their own. They're getting their own. You might be right. All right, my friend. Well, like, I want to yeah, thank everybody who joined us live. A season, bro. You, but they'll, yeah, they'll probably do it. Yeah. And Kenny, I want to thank you for your basketball insight once again. This is Sports Unfolded. NBA ranking show. We do our normal basketball knowledge program every Friday get night. Bob night. Couldn't get Bob McAdoo, man. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying here. I got to challenge you, Kenny. I can't make it too easy. I will say this. Tomorrow's show is going to be very interesting. And all the NFL seats have been filled for head coaches. So we're going to talk a little bit about uh, two coaches that did not get selected and why. So be ready for that. My 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 top guy, my main man, Ron, joining me Friday night for that. Kenny, what do you got? Is 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 one of them Eric Bienemy? Eric Bienemy did not get a job either. How about Bill? Did not. Dan Dan Quinn and uh the kid from Baltimore, the defensive. So, Eric Bienemy out again. Out again. I will say this, Kenny. I cannot wait for Saturday night in a week. In a week. James looking forward to it. Does Belichick go from here? We will talk about it. Buffalo is not the Clippers. It was the same organization. Same organization, (laughs) my friend. I don't make the rules. Thank you, Ron. I was robbed. (laughs) Here we go. Here we go with another hanging chat over here. Like it's like here we go. The election boxes are rigged. I'm not playing this game with you, Ron. That is the fact. They are considered clippers. It was part of their history. I don't. I don't make the rules, my friend. I don't make the rules. But I will say this, Kenny. One week from this Saturday, Sports Unfolded Super Bowl preview show with you, with Ron, and. And, and special guest with James. Woo! My goodness, go, this James. is gonna be a show of all shows. I can't we wait. are on fire. Yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not listen, I'm not here. Let's go, let's go, <laughs> let's go. Be ready go. for let's go. the best Super Bowl preview show you will ever have. We've got so much coming at you. We will talk more yes. about it tomorrow night and next Friday night before the big show. And we will give you our prediction on who's going to win and why. So stay tuned for that. And, Kenny, next week, Monday, can't wait for your NBA rankings. We've got our NHL rankings out right now as well. In talks to possibly do an NCAA top 10 uh, every week as well. That's on the table. So we might have some a lot going on with Sports Unfolded. Continue to follow us and watch us and share our show. You can see that little ticket that's been running the entire time how you can follow and share us. If you'd like to sponsor our show, just reach out to Rhode Island Broadcasting, email them, and they'll tell you all the wonderful ways they can do that as well. Kenny, I will see you next week. I can't wait for NBA rankings because I know for a fact Mm -hmm. we're going to see the New York Knicks on your list for the first time. It's coming. It's going to happen. All right. It has to. All right. This has been Sports Unfolded NBA Rankings. And all we ever ask for every single week is peace on earth.